Okay, this is my review of Federico Pacheco, a very good fighter. Been fighting on the zone and a couple of other platforms. I think primarily the zone, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's a very good fighter. I just found out that he's the brother of uh, Diego Pacheco, which is not a big deal because in boxing, you know, you still have to go in the ring and fight on your own merit. But I think that uh, Federico is a very good fighter. I think that he does a good job. And um, he's a young guy. He's only 20 years old, and right now he has a guy named Moses uh, Atama who's right around that age group, and I feel like that'll be a good fight for him in the future or just around that age group where a lot of those guys are right now. But I think that uh, Federico is a very good fighter. Um, from what I've seen, he has a very good jab. He puts his punches together well um, at 6'5", around 250, 260. He's at that range now where he's starting to build up and build his body up and develop. Has good speed, good punch speed, hand speed. Uh, his defense is good, instincts. Knows when to move, knows when to go forward, knows when to lay off. Uh, doesn't give everybody just free reign to kind of just take shots on him. Very good fighter. This young guy is ready to go. He's not like these other fighters where he just – just do whatever and kind of go with the flow. He's one of those guys that's going to run towards the smoke and he's going to give a very hard fight. Um, but in that age group, he can separate himself early. I think that with the path he's on now and the heavyweights I've seen him in the ring with, he's doing an excellent job. Reminds me of Chris Areola, the way that he's able to just uh, rely on his instincts and just a naturally good fit for boxers. Um, at that weight class to face off against as far as top competition, I think he's a good fit for heavyweight. Uh, the way his body style is, body type, uh, carries the weight very well, very athletic. Um, like I said, the right hook, the right hand, his check right hook is a very good uh, punch. He catches a lot of guys with that right hook, does a very good job. I think he's going to be a force in the future. But right now, that's somebody that a lot of people need to look out for. My subscribers put me on this uh, Pacheco, so this is not somebody that I primarily knew. Um, a lot of guys were telling me about this in the comments, like Truth and everybody else. They was telling me that check out uh, Pacheco. And I missed Pacheco. I forgot what other card they said he was on uh, earlier this year. But I missed that other card early. So that's the reason why I haven't seen him. I said, why I haven't seen him on a, a fight card? Because he's not really on a lot of these cars. And it's hard to figure out when he's going to be on there. But as we see now, he's able to um, be available. Early on in his career, he's a prospect. So it's not going to be very tough for him to um, find certain fights. But I definitely think with the way everything is going right now, this is going to be a very tough. But he can put some punches together. He's very good, very tall. Um... I like the size he has at 6'5", man. It's, that's really, he's going to be a real threat at that weight class. But it's not a lot of guys it's, that really has the size he has at 20 years old. I know he has a lot of – he's pudgy a little bit in certain areas. But he has good weight. It's not bad weight. It's not weight that he needs to get rid of because it's hard on his bones. I'm, uh, to be realistic, he can turn that into muscle. And have no issues as far as having to change his weight, go up and down. That's a very good body type. He's in the right spot. Um, I think everything leading up to this point has prepared him to be able to be a force at um, heavyweight as a prospect. But I think everybody should check him out. He's a very good fighter.